somewhat. What's that? That's sweet. I don't remember those. Being down here. Today I'm going to show you an easier 2D prosthetic less version of my creepy doll makeup. I'm going to use Leah again so that hopefully it will look similar this time. I'm applying it with Bonnie Corbin who is awesome at face painting so I definitely wanted her help for this. So we're going to start by flattening Leah's brows. We're going to apply some Prosade through her eyebrow and then once that dries I'm going to use a powder puff with some translucent powder and push them down to flatten them against her skin. Then we're going to use the same mix as last time, which is the Mel Pax Paint Custom Mix to create something similar to Leah's skin tone. We're going to use this rather than using a foundation or a cream-based makeup because this will give us a really nice opaque coverage to make her look more fake. And it will also give us a really nice surface to paint on top of with our alcohol ink palettes. If we were using something cream-based or if we were using a foundation, the alcohol inks would probably just take away that base surface, whereas a Pax Paint will be mostly unaffected by it. Once the Pax paint has dried, I'm going to powder it with a translucent powder to make sure it's not too sticky. And then we get Leah to close her eyes in using a water-based face paint. I believe this is a wolf palette. We're going in with the white and we're starting to draw on that eye shape on top of her eyelids. Next, we mix up some of the blues and yellows to create different colors in the iris. We try and keep it darker around the outside and lighter on the inside to copy the fake doll eyes that I used last time. Then we start marking where the pupil is going to be with a little black dot and keep putting in all of the texture of those muscle strands within the eye. Once we got the black pupil finished, we also put a couple of white highlights around the eye. We put a little bit of pink towards the center of the eye to mimic the tear gland. And then we did a straight black line along the top edge to mimic eyeliner. We also colored in the top lashes black to make them look like bottom lashes and put a strip lash along the top to create those false eyelashes. Next we wanted to start marking out some wood grain patterning along the skin. So we're using the Grunge palette by Skin Illustrator for the lighter strokes and then we're using the Bluebird character palette for the dark colors. Once we've got that ashy color and the medium brown color over everything, we're going to go over with a highlight color, which is slightly lighter and warmer. We're also using cotton tips and brushes to soften any lines that look a little bit too drawn on and to try and give it some fade in some areas. Now Bonnie is adding some eyebrows onto Leah and I'm going to go over and add on the lipstick. Instead of airbrushing on the blush, this time I'm going to spatter on using a cut off chip brush and some alcohol paints. And then we decide that the wood grain pattern should come down the neck and onto the chest as well, so we continue it down. Bonnie's also going in and adding in a little bit more depth with a darker brown into some areas, just to give it a bit more contrast. Next, I'm going to add a sealer over everything. I'm going to use the Pro Seal by EVA because it will give it a little bit of shine and gloss to make it look more like a doll to have that fake shiny varnish type finish. Now I'm going to add that slightly pigmented finishing powder over her hair and face as well to make it look a bit dusty and neglected. And that is our finished 2D easier version of the doll makeup. So obviously you can open your eyes with this. If you open your eyes a lot and have oilier eyelids, it will probably start to ruin the makeup, but you could at least have the effect for a little bit. And then when you got annoyed with having your eyes closed, you can open them again and be able to see and wander freely. <laughs> Oh my god.
I will never be able to be in a horror movie. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this 2D version of the Easier doll makeup. I think it turned out pretty cool, even though there's no prosthetics and no real doll eyes. It's always fun trying to make something 2D look 3D. It's a little bit of a different challenge to applying prosthetics. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you so much again to Leah for being the most patient, amazing model ever. Thank you so much to Bonnie for coming over and helping me over this. I think it turned out really cool and I love collaborating with people. It's always a lot of fun. And thank you to you guys for watching and to all of my Patreons for supporting me to help me create this video. I'll be back soon with a new video. I hope you guys are doing well.